The Nexus of Rob O, and the subject is the disrespect of JR. Hello, K100. I hope everyone is great, and Conan, I assure you I'm not a snowflake, since that is what you labeled me after a question a couple weeks ago. <laughs> but I do hope to get you back in your good graces this week. JR is a prodigy of Gordon Soley, who is widely considered the best commentator in wrestling history. I would echo that, by the way. Uh, and uh, well, well, okay, we'll talk about this. And JR is the best of the past 25 years, but seems to be getting less airtime in AEW programming since, he's, since he is only on Rampage, which is a pre-recorded show and excluded from the live show Dynamite, but it's only calling a few matches on pay-per-views lately. Would you say this is JR's choice, and how do you think Gordon Soley would react to this disrespect? Thank you, K100. Um, well, first of all, Gordon Soley is so great because he didn't need a color commentator. He did everything himself and was fantastic. A one-man show, right? Um, JR, like, we, we, just, we had JR on the show and actually discussed this, that, bro, this, this, this modern wrestling style where there's a million things going on in the match and guys never really slow down and let the guys narrate, like, like which JR is great at, it's just not his element. Like, I would think JR would be doing fantastic work right now narrating like the, like calling the bloodline stuff you know because he knows how to emphasize emotion and stuff and then ask the questions and stuff but but like right now he's just basically you know he's calling matches and the guys are doing a million things in there it's like almost too fast for him you know what, what, what do you think yeah that's a good point i i just think that um you know we were lucky we grew up with gordon Soli. You right know? he was incredible and yeah. jr was the best guy right after wait a minute yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> no. So long from the Sunshine State. Yeah. It's a pure sixer. And you can tell if Don, we got a Donnie Brook. Yeah. In, in his voice, no. if he was upset, you could tell that was a really big thing happening. You know? Yeah. So here's my favorite one. Yeah, he's got a crimson mask on. Yeah, he's <laughs> the, the guy was bleeding. About, yeah. Yeah. Ne next is some, so like, let me just say one last thing <laughs> and uh yeah, I just think that you're absolutely correct. You know, he's a storyteller. And you can't tell a story when the guy's doing a million different things at the same time. Plus, he's the guy that, that thrives in the WWE environment. That's where right. he came from. That's, you know, not where he came from because he came from Bill Watts, right? right. But, um, but that's where he thrives. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, well, their, their production is so good where they have the camera shot ready. They have JR's is ready to, to hit his point with the camera. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just one more structured. He's, he's better in a more structured atmosphere than, right. than, than he is in, in what he is now.